Hello everybody, welcome back and thanks for checking in. Today we're going to continue building out the fencing for our chicken moat garden. The interior pallet fence is now officially done. We've got the pallet secure and the bottom is fenced off with chicken wire, so there's no way these birds are getting through. So now it's time to start moving forward with the exterior fence. We've got two six foot tall lengths of chicken wire, about 150 feet long. Here is the box. I brought one out for now, but we've got a second one back over at the house. Bam. The first thing I want to do is mow underneath the area where we're going to be installing the fence. That way it can get as close to the ground as possible. Start out where the gate's going to go. I'm using staples for now and then I'll come back through once I'm done and use poultry staples to make it more secure. I'm just going to march it around, stapling to the posts as I go. Cover as much distance as I can. It gets me about, I don't know, half to two thirds of the way around. And this is where I run out of my first roll. And then we'll get the second roll started from the other side of the gate. Once I get the chicken wire set and up, I'm gonna come back through and lay some cardboard down underneath, but more on that later. Yesterday went really well. We got all of the main part of the outer fencing done, but chicken wire is not a perfectly rigid material. So what's happened is in between our posts, it's gotten a little bit loose. Some places worse than others. So what we're gonna do is craft some stakes. We're gonna finish cardboarding up underneath, then I'm gonna stake it down, and then we're gonna wood chip. I'm hoping with all of this done, it should pretty well seal up the bottom. So as I was saying, we're gonna put the cardboard underneath the chicken wire. That way we don't have a lot of grass popping up underneath. I think it's just gonna help to keep things looking cleaner and tidier. So that gets us all the way cardboarded out. Now I've gotta make some stakes to help secure down the bottom of this chicken wire. That way we can secure the bottom of the chicken wire down and we won't have any chickens getting out or predators getting in. For the stakes we ended up using steel welding wire. These are about, uh, I think they were about three eighths inch thick. Quarter to three eighths somewhere around in there. Anyway, we're using the framing square to set them up at one foot lengths. They were four foot originally. If I had it to do over again, I probably would have done a foot and a half to two feet. Using pliers, we're gonna bend the end into a hook and then a hammer to finish bringing it around. So again, we'll use the pliers to get the hook started and then the hammer to tighten it up. This is the heavier gauge wire. Thinner gauge I was able to just bend with the pliers. I'll spare you the whole process of making all of them, but that's what they look like. Let's take them out to the garden and see if they work. I think that'll work out nicely. Next day, all the stakes have been bent down. Meredith has been kind enough to come out and take over the rest of that job for me. I'm gonna get started on the tunnel that's gonna go underneath the entrance to the garden. That's gonna make the moat one continuous loop so the chickens don't have to go all the way around to get from one side of this entrance to the other. I'm gonna bring out some pressure treated lumber to use for this tunnel. We started out using all two by 12s for this box. But as you can see, it gets a little bit tall. Meredith pointed out that might be tough to get over. So we took that off and we went down to two by eights for the sides and two by 12s for the bottom and top. And that gives us about a one foot outer square all the way around. So we tack the sides in place just so they stay where I want them. Throw the top on and then we're gonna go ahead and screw all the way down the sides. Flip it over and screw in through there. Now we get to dig it down, so that way we don't have this huge bump coming into the garden if we're bringing in a wheelbarrow or something like that.
once it was in, I dug out a little bit further so there's a bit of a ramp heading down towards the entrance. Then we pack it down so that we've got a smooth lift going up the sides. Well friends, it's been a couple days. I've been good about work and I've been bad about recording, so let me catch you up real quick with the progress we've made. The interior fences for the chicken moats that go between the main fence and the pallet fence are up. We've got the gates into the chicken moat up. You can see there. We're gonna be taking that same style and doing that across here at the garden entrance as well. Now I've gotta start getting the wood chips spread out so that our fence is a little more secure. We're using these wood chips as a way to keep anything from coming underneath the fence. We're gonna put a layer around the entire inside perimeter and a layer around the entire outside perimeter. And again, this is just gonna seal up any gaps there might be between the chicken wire and the cardboard. round of updates on the chicken moats for this video you guys the garden is I would say 95 to 97 percent finished we've got the main gates up and done we've got good layers of wood chips going down all the way around it's awesome things have been going really well the one issue I'm having right now that you guys might be able to help with is I have a couple chickens that have decided to nest down in the tunnel I don't know if there are any good tricks to discourage chickens from nesting in places. I've got some ceramic eggs where I want them to go, but so far no luck. So if you've got any tips, let me know. I'll take you in and show you the tunnel. So like I said, I've got one nesting down in the tunnel and you can see that it's blocking it up on either side. That's why they're not running through. So I gotta try to figure something out about that. But all in all, things are going really well. The other issue that I'm having is the, the entrance to the tunnels. We had to dig them down a bit like you saw to help make it easier to get into the garden. But now I've got chickens that are really kicking a lot of the wood chips down there. It's almost filling up the tunnel entrance every now and again. So I'm wondering if any of you have suggestions on uh, I don't know, I can't figure out quite how to set it up to keep them from doing that. So if you've got any tips, let me know. I'm gonna keep thinking about it. If I figure it out, I'll update you guys as always. That's kind of it for the day. Thanks for checking in. As always, be happy, be healthy, be safe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.